everyone welcome back on my channel today we'll see rept dax function in power bi and the use case how to use it in power bi and what is the functionality of this function okay so we'll first understand this function so the rept it, it called as a rep function so it uh, what it does is it repeats text a given number of times we can use this function to fill a cell with a number of instances of a text string. Let's see one example. So if we have to show some uh, products and their rating, what customer gives the rating for that particular products, okay? So in that case, uh, we just want to show this uh, rating in the stars, okay? So how to show it in Power BI? We'll see that in this video. So don't miss to watch this video till end will give you a overall explanation of this task okay and this is the syntax of this function REPT in that we have two arguments one is the text and then number of times like how many times we want that number to be repeat that text to be repeat okay so let's see it in power bi so let's understand data first so we have in data we have the product name then the sales of that product and their rating okay their customer rating so in this we just want to see the uh, ratings in the stars okay so like this okay so i have created this so in this way we have to create so if we have the product name and we have to show the rating for the products for the top five products then how we can show that okay so here uh, we have taken this rating column and then we have added the stars so for adding the stars we have the REPT function in DAX. Okay, so let's see the measure how to write the measure for this. Okay, so uh, I have given this name to this measure star rating equals to. I have created one variable called average star, and in that average star variable, I have written the average of this rating column. Okay, so this is the table name and this is the column name. So I want the average of this column. Okay. And then I have written the second variable called stars. So here what I have given is, so I want the uh, maximum five stars, okay? So whatever uh, max number we want for that particular text or anything, we can just give the number here and we can just subtract this variable from the here. So whatever average value we have, we can just subtract it from the five, okay? So that we will get that particular number of stars, okay? Then in return, what I have written is the ref function. So uh, this unicar code you can find online. You can just search this uh, unicar code for the star. So you will get this unicar code. Otherwise, you can just add the star icon here. Okay. So this is the unicar code for showing the star like this. Then I have passed the average star variable and this function and then the another star. Okay. So in this table, we can just see this table we have these two types of stars okay so one is this not filled and this is the filled okay okay so here we just we just need to concat that two stars for showing the same okay so here we have taken these stars and then we, we have given the uh, this variable and then concatenate with the this uh, star and we have passed this okay so what it does is it will do the calculation and show only that value whatever present according to this average star variable so after running this in power bi we just need to take one matrix visual from here and then we just need to add the row in the rows we just need to add the product name in the values we just we will add the rating and the star rating that measure what we have created now okay so we just need to take the matrix visual from the visualization pane and then we just need to add the product name in the rows and in the values we can just add the rating and the star rating that we have created as a measure okay so after adding this in here we will get the stars like this okay so we have the two types of stars here okay so one is the not field so what it is showing is for this 2.5 rating it is showing the three so here we have one disadvantage to use this function is so whatever value we are showing here as a rating it is like taking approximate value for 2.5 it is taking the 3 okay for 3.5 it is taking the 3 or 4.5 it is taking the 6 okay so whatever point value it is not taking it is only taking the approximate values okay so if we have the value 
after decimal is more than 5 and 5 it is rounding up and if we have the value less than 5 it is rounding down okay so in this case two, for 2.5 it is showing the three stars for 3.5 it is showing the only three stars okay so uh, here we we just not do the half star filling that is the disadvantage but we can use this for the for showing if we have any requirement such uh, like this then we can just use the RUPT function. So in this way, we can use it in real-time projects. So many clients wants to see the data as like by adding the icons and all the all those things for uh, getting the information quickly. Okay. So in this way, we can create this use case and we can add that in the real-time projects. If you like my video, do like, share and subscribe my channel and don't miss to press the bell icon so that you can receive the notification of my upcoming videos. Till that, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching this video.